Hey, I'm joined by Gus Sauter. Welcome to the program, Chief Investment Officer at Vanguard. You're here in New York. You're rolling out a new suite of Russell ETFs. Why the focus on the small to mid-cap stocks? Well, it's, it's uh, small, mid, and large, and, and really we're just offering a broad lineup uh, to access the marketplace. The Russell gives us another suite of products, uh, much like uh, two suites we already have, but uh, really it's just another brand name. We've had a lot of clients come to us and say they want the Russell brand name uh, inside a Vanguard product, so, so that's really what they do. The allure of ETFs, Gus, as you know, is they're cost effective, they're tax effective, so say investment professionals. Uh, what kind of fees are going to be on these in particular ETFs? these seven Russell ETFs? Well, we operate um, at cost, so ours, uh, ours will be very competitive, uh, actually the lowest cost in the industry, tracking the uh, Russell indexes. We have BlackRock, one of your big competitors. We also have Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, all looking to get into the ETF business. How do you stay competitive against those kind of players? Well, I think that there are three ways that we compete. Uh, the first would be brand recognition. There are a lot of uh, investors that recognize our name and, and want our name, trust us. Uh, so that's the first one. The second one would be on cost. In an index fund, cost is extraordinarily important. And because of our corporate structure, because we are mutually owned, we are very cost competitive, uh, uh, very attractive. And then finally, it's tracking error. In an index fund, you have to track the index extremely closely. And I, we have a track record that you can look at and see that we have been successful at doing that. I, I want to ask you about ETFs because ETFs took a hit during the flash crash. They've People are raising questions about whether or not they're the best product for individual investors, whether they should be an investment product or traded solely. What's your take on that? Are you, are you, uh, would you like to see the SEC be a little bit tougher on exchange traded funds after the flash crash? Well, no, I would not. They have instituted the circuit breakers that apply to both stocks, single stocks and ETFs. I think that incremental approach is the right approach for now, and let's see how that works out. Uh, really what we saw was a failure in the market mechanism. It was a market structure problem, not an ETF structure problem. So ETFs uh, um, really are just one way for an investor to invest in an index mutual fund. Uh, they can buy it on the exchange. Another way is just to go directly to the index provider in a conventional index fund. But um, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with the ETF structure. Okay, and just quickly, retail customer, how are your customers feeling? We know they've been very skittish this year, just in about 30 seconds. Uh, I, yes, there's a, there is nervousness. So we have seen investors really go for yield. Uh, you know, uh, there's been redemptions out of money market funds into shorter term bond funds. At the same time, a lot of our investors are still taking a long term view. And so we've had strong cash flow into equities as well. Okay, great. We're going to leave it there. We're unfortunately out of time. Our thanks to Gus Sauter.